Yo, what is up, everyone? Rick Dad here. Welcome back to another installation tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to install Sonic Gather and Bullet Shaders for 1.4.2. Um, so yeah, let's start. Uh, the first thing you wanna go to is the Optifine page right here. Uh, every link that I'm showing you guys will be in the description. So, so yeah, click the first link and it will bring you to this Optifine page. And you wanna scroll down to see Optifine HD A7 Ultra for Minecraft 1.4.2 and then click download uh, save it to your desktop i already have it downloaded so i don't have to worry about that then next after that you want to click uh, the other link which will bring you to media, media fire page uh, sh uh, shaders 2.1.6 basically uh, download it save it to your desktop then after that you want to click this link which you can see is a rapid share link uh, you just click the download button right here and then save it to your desktop um, and the last thing we want is a texture pack because you need to have this texture pack right here, the oval rustic, to make it work uh, as of right now for the shaders. Anyway, you scroll more down on this page and you should see download. Um, and a bit underneath that, you can see mirror, the first mirror here, because uh, the 221 for 1.4.2 doesn't work, so you need to use a mirror apparently. So when you hit this button, it should directly just download for you, uh, so save it to your desktop, and uh, now you should have these files right here. You should have Optifine, Shaders, Zeus, and Oval. Now the first thing you want to do is to open the Optifine one, and then copy everything inside here. Uh, basically, uh, press Ctrl plus A, or so, uh, click the top file, hold Shift, and press the uh, bottom file, and then copy it by pressing Control c and now go to your .minecraft if you don't know how to get to your .minecraft just basically type percent app data uh, percent enter and your .minecraft should be right here so just go to that bin uh, yeah bin and then open minecraft.jar with winrar achiever if you don't have winrar then you need to download that so yeah, as you, as you can see, we have the Optifine open here. We copied everything, and now we open the Minecraft.jar, paste everything inside here by pressing Ctrl-V, press OK. Now you can close the uh, Optifine one, and you can close the Minecraft.jar one. <laughs> um, the next thing is to open the shaders uh, zip file here, and drag the shaders folder to your desktop like, like so. And now you can close the zip. So open the shaders folder here, um, and as you can see, we have mods here, inst and nitrous. Uh, you wanna right-click the inst and run as administrator, and press yes if it pops up something. Uh, yeah, this should be set by default where it downloads it to. So all you need to do is, is really just to click install mods. So it's now unpacking the jar and just installing all the files you need. Repacking jar and the installation should be complete any second now. <laughs> there we go, installation complete. So now you can just close this. Uh, you can close the shaders uh, folder here. And now open the SUS zip file. Um, then you want to open the OVO SUS patch because you need to do something with the texture pack to make, to make it work properly. So open the OVO uh, zip file as well. So to the right here we have the oval one right here uh, what you want to do in the oval zip file is you want to delete custom water uh, custom water still and custom water flowing otherwise the water in game won't look as nice as it would be uh, if you delete it then after that go back to the Zeus one and uh, the oval Zeus patch copy everything inside here and paste it in here so now the the oval texture pack should have a uh, have a terrain nh and those files here so you can close both now and uh, now go to your dot minecraft again texture packs and drag the oh, where the hell did that go oh yeah drag the oval rustic uh, redemption into here the texture pack um, folder then go back again go to your bin and now again open the Zeus uh, zip file now you want to open the shaders only 
I copy everything inside here by pressing Ctrl C and now open Minecraft jar with WinRAR. There should now be a shaders folder in here, uh, right there. Now you want to delete all of these these files because this is a different shader which only has blur or something like that. So delete everything inside here. Press yes, and then paste what you just copied from the other zip file. There you go. And now everything should be should be fine. Uh, up. <laughs> Sorry about that fucking phone. And <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, open Minecraft like you normally do. Press enter game. Now it's logging in like usual. Uh, and then go to texture packs. Select the uh, oval rustic that you just fixed and all that stuff. Press done. And uh, enter a normal world like so. Oh, so as you can see right off the bat, the sun is beautiful. You can't really see it because it's so bright. Anyway, uh, but this is how it's supposed to look. As you can see, the grass and the the water is beautiful, and you can hear the new sounds. I don't know if you can. Anyway, to prove to prove it to you that it's one point four point two, uh, as you can see at the top right, it says Minecraft one point four point two, and you can see I have twenty FPS. That's just because I'm recording right now. Um, but yeah, now to the options. Uh, press escape, options, video settings. And what I do to get most FPS is to turn the render distance to short and the graphics to fast. Uh, but what you need to have is you want to turn chunk loading to default. So yeah, just click it till it gets to, def to default. And then after that, go to quality, turn off anisotropic filtering, and turn off anti aliasing. And make sure custom color is on. Um, and natural texture is off, and connected texture is off. And the other things I think you can just mess around with, like better grass, I guess. Fancy. So yeah, there we go. I uh, hope you guys like this tutorial. If, if you need any help, add Rudy Titan on Skype and I'll help you. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!